What is up, you wonderful people? So, I'm releasing two videos, and namely because this one's more for the community, if you will. I want you guys to take just a second and think about a game that you feel is underrated. And then let me know down in the comments what it is. And if you know an indie game you feel like is super underrated, definitely let me know. So I'm always looking to check out indie games. So I decided this would be a good topic to discuss. There's a lot of these games that maybe just get overlooked and we don't know why. Uh, they just don't hit like we expect them to. So I just came up with a, a list. I, I've got some, some bigger names and then some indie games in there kind of mixed in. But before we get to that, I do want to remind you guys to please hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, if you are repeat offenders, the like button would be great. If nothing else, I appreciate the heck out of you guys. You are so awesome. Uh, everything that's been going on with this channel lately, it's just amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. But by the way, um, if you stay to the end of the video, I do have a special game that I believe has been overlooked. And from what I understand, this game is going to be going on sale pretty soon. And if it does, I'm going to do a video just on this game because it's how good I think it is. It's one of those great indie titles that just got overlooked. Anyway, though, I'll start with a bigger name, and that is Immortal Phoenix Rising. Uh, the game is way, way overlooked. And usually dedicated to the junk bin, if you will, as I picked up a physical copy for something like $9.99, which is insane for this game. For one, you have a good 30, 40 hours of gameplay. It's super in-depth, super uh, complex. There's a bunch of, like, side quests, and you can basically take this game as Breath of the Wild meets a Disney film meets Assassin's Creed. Mix those all together, and you have a really good game, and a game you can find really cheap most of the time. So, uh, the second game I would say that, uh, is completely overlooked, now this one's for me, because I'm such a big fan of The Legend of Zelda, and you don't see a lot of those, like, really quality Zelda clones, quote-unquote, but I'm gonna go with Ocean's Heart. Ocean's Heart is so so good and it gave me so many memories of playing old school Legend of Zelda. I I would say like this game is just it's not a game I never hear anyone talk about. It came out a few months ago. Uh, it was done by Max Max Moraz, who's just a fantastic developer, super talented, and did an amazing job with this game. I absolutely adore it. I'm a bigger title now, and maybe one that should have been huge, but just missed the mark. And I there again, this is one of those games I I didn't pick up until it was on sale. It was like more than half off. And finally, I gave it a shot. And that is Guardians of the Galaxy. This game was great. The fact that this game bombed so bad really sucks because I want to play more. I want there to be a, a sequel, but I know there's not going to be because this game really, really did horrible. No one played it. Everyone thought it was going to be the same thing we got from uh, the Avengers game, but it wasn't. It had its own story. There was no microtransactions, none of that. The game looked wonderful. It played awesomely. Like, the gameplay is just so, like, action-packed, and uh, the story itself was was really cool and, and in-depth. Like, it's, it was like one of those games that really sucked you in, like, made you care. But, yeah, the game is... I do not believe we're going to see a sequel to the game it just it didn't do well and it should have because it was really good my third game on this list is going to be a game I'm playing right now, and I think it came out at a very awkward time for this game, because I often say that 2021 was probably one of the best years for JRPGs that we've seen in a long time, and this game was released kind of when a bunch of them all came out, and this game is Chris Tales. This game is very, very unique. It has the uh, same, like, turn-based RPG uh, mechanics that we like from, you know, the old-school Final Fantasy and stuff like that. But there is this um, genius component with time magic where you can literally make your opponents like turn back into a child or turn old or you can inflict them with poison, make time go forward and all that poison hits them at once. There's a lot of different like little mechanics and combos you can do and the story itself is really, really good too. So yeah, Chris Tales I think is one that just overlooked. For my fourth one on the list, I've got an old school game, and it's part of a series, um, but I really thought that the, the second game in the series was really good, and 
and that game is Shadow Hearts. And it's kind of a gothic RPG where I felt like they just melded like horror, RPG, and a really good story all in one. And this game is often overlooked or even not even thought about. And even the the, the first one in the series, Kadelka, is another really great RPG. And again, just one of those that's under overlooked. So for the last one, and the one that I say that I will do a video on because I've heard this game's supposed to be $9.99 on the eShop pretty soon. And that is Tales of Iron. This game is fantastic. I recently played it and beat it. And it's one of those games, it's like noted for its difficulty. It's a side-scrolling game where you play as a mouse and uh, the frogs are attacking your kingdom and it gets pretty graphic and gets pretty hectic. But I also say like this is one of those games that like you can just turn the difficulty down for a little while. That's what I did. And just played through the story or at least parts of the story because there's so much to it. There's a lot of or there's a lot of uh, hidden aspects and hidden bosses that's not right there. Uh, I had so much fun playing this game though. Uh, Tales of Iron is fantastic. Like I said, I'll do a whole video on it if they do actually drop that. So just a couple like runner-up type games or games that I think might belong in this category. And it'd be Resident Evil Revelations. That little series is so cool. I hope they do come up with like a number three because it's just, it's way, way underappreciated. And the other one, I have a hard time saying this because it's a Legend of Zelda game, but it's not really talked about very often. And that one is Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. This is by far my most favorite Legend of Zelda game. And I don't see many people talking about it. I would also throw on this list a game that uh, really a lot of people seem excited for and no one really talks about now, and that would be Eastward. I don't hear anyone talking about Eastward or how great it was or anything. And it was a really fantastic game, but just overlooked. But anyway, that's my list. I'm kind of curious what you guys have for it. And we can go back and forth. I'm definitely interested in, in all of your, your suggestions and your ideas. But anyway, take care, guys. You have a good one.